Turns out I have a really big boost leak or some sort of boost leak. So we got to find out where that's coming from. I made previous videos of me trying to find boost leaks using compressed air. Today we're going to be using a smoke machine. As you can see, we got a nice little smoke machine right here. These are starting to become really inexpensive just because they make them really simple. This one I got for like a hundred bucks. Uh, but you will need a compressor like this. This one's pretty big, but you can use a small one. Um, so we're going to use this. You want to block off right here and block off right here. Usually this is the way I test, uh, like compressed air test. I hook up the compressor right here and it pressurizes the system. But we're going to use a smoke machine just because the smoke machine finds the more finer ones and it makes it more obvious. And we're going to go from there. So uh, this just hooks up to, well, all these smoke machines just hook up to 12 volts. So we're going to power it on. There's a coil in here that heats up some oil, like sometimes baby oil or any type of oil, uh, but specifically for smoke. And then once it heats up, you connect the compressor right here. This regulator regulates the flow to be very minimal and then starts um, letting out the air through here. Now when you hook this up to an intake source, which the easiest one is probably the one that goes to the blow valves. I'm gonna hook that one up most likely, but as you can see, smoke is already coming out without the compress compressor being connected, which is good. Um, so I'm gonna connect it uh, to that and go from there. So there we go, I hooked it up to the compressor, you can see. So air should be coming out through here. You can see, there it is. Nice bit of smoke. So now we gotta do is wait for the system to pressurize. Oh, what is that? That does not look good. So we found one leak so far, just like that, easy. Uh, looking for more smoke. Do we see any more smoke? Any more smoke around here? Oh, I see some smoke coming from. Where is this coming from? <sighs> it looks like from the PCV. Yeah, I believe from the PCV O ring. There's a leak there. Yep, that's a leak. Uh, so we got one leak, two leaks. Any more leaks, any more leaks? So it looks like the most obvious, obvious leak so far is gonna be this T map sensor right there. That's a pretty hefty leak right there. All right, so I took out the sensor. This is the upgraded sensor, uh, the N20. That's why it has the adapter harness, but uh i've already replaced this o-ring one so i guess this is not the right o-ring i switched it with because i just used a universal kit but this looks pretty thin now that i look at it uh probably the cause of the leak uh, we made it pretty easy especially since i upgraded the bolts uh check out that video you go to home depot get that set right there but anyways uh yeah so i'm gonna just change out the o-ring and luckily we have the the smoke machine right here so we can just verify switch out o-rings see if it still continues to leak if not we can just keep swapping o-rings until we get the right one uh because i will be using this universal kit right here i think it might be one of those green ones but i also have this universal kit both of these are from harbor freight they come in handy especially with other o-ring stuff uh but yeah i'm gonna swap it out and plug it back in see if it continues to leak and if not then we're good so here we go all right so here's the o-ring we got i believe they use this one right here or maybe this one i forgot but as you can see kind of looks like the oem one that comes green um now we just gotta put i already oiled this up make sure i oil this o-ring up a little bit with some grease or i just use the oil that was around here that way it slides in normally and doesn't rip and then we're gonna put it back in and you know see if it still leaks all right o-ring is replaced uh, I just put the sensor back in, then plug it in, but I do not see any smoke. And it's already pressurized enough where this one's leaking again, so we know for sure it's pressurized. And I call that a fix, to be honest. That's a fix. Um, 
Yeah. Usually sometimes the charge pipe o ring leaks, but we're wiggling around and nothing. So should be good there. Only other problem is this one right here, very obvious. All right, so same story with this one. This is the old o ring. I found the one that matches the best. It's gonna be this one. Put a little bit of grease on there so it doesn't tear and seals a little bit better. All right, so new o ring is in, no longer leaking. That's a good thing. All right, people, I found the issue. Uh, I took out the T map sensor. Uh, o ring was bad, but if we blocked the T map sensor hole, you hear that? It's still a leak. The holes that hold down the T map sensor go through. You hear that? That is, I don't know. If I I don't know what happened, but see that? There's two screws that go here, and sure enough, when I like, there's no O-ring for the screws, so I'm not sure what the deal is or if they're too deep now. But that's the issue right there.